Hi, this is Janet from Paper and Spark. Welcome to part two of our video tutorial series on how to use your inventory cost and pricing spreadsheet. If you don't have this spreadsheet, it's available for purchase at paperandspark.com. Okay, so let's begin a step-by-step -step example of how to use your spreadsheet. I'm going to navigate to the cost of goods made formula tab. Now this tab is where as I create new items, I'm going to figure out how much they cost me to make. This tab is going to link to the light green materials tabs. So we really need to start by putting some data in these light green material tabs. When you first get your spreadsheet, you should go through and think about the categories of raw materials that you have. So I'm going to use the example of a jewelry maker here because that's what I started out doing. So people that create jewelry have a lot of raw materials. You might have beads, chain, pendants, charms, wire, um, tools like pliers and ring mandrels. Um, you have all sorts of stuff. But this spreadsheet has 20, no, 15 material tabs. So I need to try and divide my materials into 15 broad categories. More than that and you're gonna make life too difficult for yourself. So the first thing I need to do is rename each material tab to what I want it to be. To do that, there, there's two ways you can do it. You can either simply double click on it and see how the text is highlighted. Now I can simply type in what I want it to be. Or you can right click on it, right click on that tab and select rename and the same thing will happen. Now, not only do you need to rename the tabs, you should rename this cell up here in uh, 1A. You should rename that raw material to whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these four tabs. And by renaming this cell up here, this light green cell, my cost of goods made formula tab is also going to change. So this no longer says raw material up here. It's changed to link to whatever I renamed that cell to. Okay, so that's just how to set up these tabs when you get started. Now the goal of using these light green material tabs is that as you purchase raw materials, when you go to the craft store and buy all your raw materials or when you order them from firemountaingems.com or whatever. As you buy them, you should enter them on your spreadsheet. It doesn't matter if you've actually used them or not. We're just entering raw materials as we purchase them. So I'm going to enter a few pretend raw materials right now. Now there's lots of details that you can enter on the raw materials tabs for whatever you purchase and you can put as much or as little info as you want. It all depends on how you like to handle your materials and your supplies. So I'm going to um, enter some fake purchases here. I'm going to say um, I'm going to list color, size, um, and then I'm going to say these beads, I bought a big strand of beads and they cost me $5 total for that big strand of all those beads. Now there were 30 beads in that strand. So that you see the spreadsheet is going to automatically calculate how much each bead, each unit cost me. So it generated that 17 cents by itself. So now I know that each mother of pearl bead cost me 17 cents. And this will help me determine how much my finished goods made with these beads cost me and then help me price them accurately. 
So I might like to track the source of where I buy things and um, I'll put a date and then there's a comments column in case I have any particular special other things that I want to note. So you would go on and do this for all your raw materials for each tab as you purchase them. I'm going to switch over to a spreadsheet where I already have a bunch of um, raw data entered, but you get the idea. The only other thing that I would note is how you pick your units. Now beads are an easy example because I can count the number of beads that I have total. Um, you want your unit to stay consistent per tab. So if this were a fabric raw materials tab, I'd probably want to measure in either feet or yards. So that's the unit that I would use here. And then it will give me the cost per yard or the cost per foot for each type of fabric that I bought. So you determine the unit that makes sense to you and enter it accordingly. And just always keep in mind that this column here is giving you the cost per whatever unit you entered. So I've switched over to my spreadsheet that has some more raw material data entered into it already. And now I'm going to show you, assuming I've finished, I'm up to date entering all my supplies and everything, let's say it's time for me to create some actual finished goods. So I have a few examples here already, but let's go through a new one so you can see how it works. I'm going to make another wire wrapped ring. So I'm just going to start by entering a simple product description here. So this is what I've created. Now I need to figure how much it cost. This is the purpose of this tab here is to tell me how much this new ring I made cost me out of my pocket for supplies. So this new wire wrapped ring, it had um, three mother of pearl beads in it. So I need to go to my beads tab and I'm under my beads column. I've activated this cell here that corresponds to my new product and my material I'm thinking about. So I'm going to start, unfortunately on this tab, you need to link to the other tabs, but you've got to do it manually. The spreadsheet um, can only do so much for you. It doesn't know what you put into this new item, so you have to tell it. So we're going to walk through how to tell it what you used. Anytime you have a formula in a spreadsheet, you start out with the equal sign. So you simply hit the equal sign. Now I'm going to navigate to the tab that has the raw material that I used. So that's going to be my beads tab. And okay, which bead did I use for this ring? I used my mother of pearl beads. And it looks like these beads cost me 20 cents per unit. So I'm going to click this, but remember, I said I used three of them. So if I just used one, I'd be done. Just 20 cents is all I need, but I need three of those. So I need to tell Excel to multiply by three, this 20 cents by three. I'm still in my formula bar up here. I've linked to my 20 cents. And now I'm just going to say times three. So for a spreadsheet, if you want to tell it to multiply, you use the asterisk, the asterisk. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know what I mean? The little star, the asterisk, that's how you tell it to multiply. And then I'm going to say by three, because I used three of those beats. So when I've got that in my formula bar, all I have to do is hit my enter key on my keyboard. Once I hit enter, it's going to take me back to the cell that I was working in, and now it shows me 60 cents. I can see the formula in the formula bar, and that's correct because 20 cents times 3 is going to be 60 cents. So I'm good to go with my beads. Now I also used wire in this ring. So now I need to link to my wire tab. Again, I'm going to start with the equals key, and then I'm going to navigate over to my wire tab. I only have one type of wire entered here. I bought one spool of wire for $5 and I'm going to say that it was 20 feet. 
Okay, so that's 25 cents per foot. So I'm gonna select that 25 again. Let's say I used four feet of wire. So I'm gonna do multiply by four, asterisk four, and then I'm gonna hit enter again. So that's telling me I used a dollar worth of wire to create this ring. I didn't use any settings or chain or any other raw materials in this wire wrapped ring. It was simply just wire and the beads. So my spreadsheet is telling me that it cost me a dollar and sixty cents to create this finished good. That sounds about right. Okay, so let's walk through one more example just to make sure you have the hang of it. Let's say I create a pair of ruby stud earrings. So looking at my raw material categories up here, I am going to say that I used settings, earring settings, and jewels to make these new earrings. So I'm going to navigate to my settings column. Again, I will use the equal sign. Going to navigate over to my settings tab. I didn't use a ring setting, I used silver ear studs, so I'm going to link to that item there. And since it's a pair of earrings, I used two of them, so it's 10 cents times two. Hit enter, 20 cents for my settings. Now I also used some ruby jewels. Equal sign under my jewels column, navigate over to my jewels tab. I only have one thing here, my rubies. $5 per ruby times two rubies I used. Enter key. So these earrings cost me $10.20 to create. So this is how you use the cost of goods made tab. Um, you simply link to your raw materials tabs as applicable and enter a product description and find out how much that good costs you to make. This number here will flow to your other tabs and it will be used to help price your finished goods. So it's important that you do this step and you do this step accurately. Thank you.